Hello everyone and welcome back with another amazing opportunity that is called Atlas Corps Fellowships and Leaderships Program 2022 in USA. So before starting our video, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of scholarships, fellowships, internships and many more. So let's get started. In this today's amazing video, we will talk about Atlas Corps Fellowships and Leaderships Program 2022 in USA. Atlas Corps is committed to adding international professionals to a 12-month US-based fellowship and 14-month blended fellowships. In these full-fledged fellowships in the US, uh, colleagues gain international exposure by working with various organizations in the U.S. Atlas Corps fellowships for the end of 2022 and early 2023 focus entirely on three different areas, environment and climate change, operation and human resources, and so, uh, Southeast, uh, Southeast and East Asia. Atlas Corps was originally founded in 2006 and has since grown into a network of non-profit leaders and organizations capable of transforming the world with 12 months in the United States and 14 months of blended remote fellowships. Individuals are expected to return to their home countries and serve their communities in the best possible way. So now we will talk about the details of Atlas Corps Fellowships and Leaderships Program. So this is a fully funded scholarship, uh, fellowship and uh, leadership. The duration is 14, uh, 14 months and all the international students can apply for this fellowship and um, is available in United States. The last day to apply for this fellowship is 31st March 2020 uh, sorry 31st May 2022 now we will move towards financial benefit uh, financial benefits uh, so these some points are included in financial benefits now we will move towards type of fellowships 12 month in person fellowship in US blended 14 month fellowship and uh, Virtual Leadership Institute. Now we will talk about fellowship areas. So these are some uh, fellowship areas which this fellowship covers. Uh, so now we will talk about eligibility criteria. All the students interested to be a part of this amazing scholarship must fulfill the eligibility criteria. Eligibility criteria includes all international candidates of any nationality can apply. Candidates should have at least two years full-time professional experience in the relevant fields. The candidate must have a bachelor's degree or its equivalent. Candidate must be between 23 and 35 years of age. The candidate must return home for service and the candidate has received COVID-19 vaccination. As I have said before, the last day to apply for the scholarship is 31st May 2022. Now we will move towards applying procedure. First of all, we will check official link. By clicking on official link button, you will move towards this page. So these are some uh, details of Atlas Corps Fellowship you can read. Now uh, move towards applying procedure. By clicking on apply now button, you will move towards this registration page. Okay, if you are registered, then you have to log in here. And if you are not registered, then you have to click on register. Okay, now register.
Okay, welcome to the Atlas Corps application. Now uh, we will move towards the tips of the application. First of all, we will have to click on save and next. So these are some tips of application font size. If uh, too small, then you have to click on control plus uh, plus button or CMD plus button. Navigation do not use the black back button on your web browser to go back. Uh, you have to click on previous and saving your work. Uh, yeah, for saving your work, you have to click on save and next. Box size, then draft responses uh, beforehand. Proper grammar and required questions, context and plain language, details and result, consistency. Uh, so these these are some tips for the application. Uh, after reading it, you have to click on save and next button. Okay, now current mailing address. So first of all, your first name, then surname, then uh, middle name. Uh, what? Would you like us to call you in interview and in emails? Let's suppose. Okay, current pronoun. Okay. Secondary email. Primary phone number. Uh, secondary phone number optional, WhatsApp phone number optional. Okay, your Skype ID. Okay, my Skype ID is copied now, paste. Okay, uh, primary country of citizenship. Now let's suppose Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay, optional if you are a citizen, no. Uh, if you need to list other countries, no. Status is, let's suppose, engaged. Do you have children? No. Uh, please provide the name, uh, date of birth and nationality of your spouse, uh, former spouse and finance. Okay, current uh, street number. Okay, let's suppose. Street number nine, house number two two two, Chakwal. Okay, city is Chakwal. Postal code that's post four five zero zero. Uh, state or province Punjab. Country is uh, Pakistan. Is your home address different from your permanent address? No. Okay, application information. Let's suppose we are applying for in person fellowship. Okay, uh, how did you hear? Let's suppose Facebook ad. Have you ever been previously designated? No. Uh, upload your CV or resume, uh, but it's optional. Please include your LinkedIn link optional. Okay, now click on save then link button. Save and next button. Okay, date of birth. First of all, you have to write your month, then day, and then year. Month is, let's suppose, 12. And uh, date is 23. And um, year is 2000. Okay. You may be too young for Atlas. Uh, okay. Highest level of education, let's suppose college or college degree or bachelor's year of experience, let's suppose five. More than 60% of my profession work experience is teaching, yes. Okay. Now I understand. Okay. English proficiency, let's suppose fluent. I have worked, yes. Okay, when asked, uh, plans after fellowships. Okay, save and next. Uh, benefits of participating in virtual leadership. 
Now save and next. Password number F four six two five eight nine. Uh, sorry, three six. Uh, passport issue, place of issue. Let's suppose Pakistan. Now, uh, passport issue date month is let's suppose ten. Uh, sorry, twelfth month and uh, date is twenty five and two thousand seventeen. Okay, ten. Okay, eleven. Uh, passport expiration date. Okay. Uh, city of birth. Chakwal. Country of birth, Pakistan. Okay, your national ID number optional. Gender listed female. Uh, please describe any past participation in US government. None. Have you traveled outside of your home country? No. Have you, uh, do you have relatives? No. Uh, have you ever been denied a visa to any country? No. Uh, emig uh, have you ever applied for an immigrant visa to the US? No. Okay. Uh, have you, have, has a US based relative ever filled? No. Okay. Biography section. So in this section, just you have to write your biography please enter your one paragraph third person biography let's suppose okay now save and next english proficiency written is let's suppose advanced and uh, reading is intermediate Please provide more details of your written, spoken, reading fluency. Let's pause. Okay. Now, uh, additional language to English. Let's pause. Urdu. Okay. Now, please give more details regarding how fluent you are in. Let's pause. Advanced. Okay. Now, save and next. Now, undergraduate bachelor's degree. Institution is, let's suppose, Kaide Azam. Undergraduate degree, um, bachelor's of science. Okay, area of study, um, ISB. Date, degree awarded. Okay, let's pause. Fifteenth. Two thousand seventeen. Okay. Please upload a copy of your official transcript, uh, but it's optional. No, it's not optional. You have to. Okay, first you have. We have to write our month. Month here, okay, 12. Graduate institution. Uh, in some countries, graduate degree is referred to a postgraduate degree. Okay, now. Friday. Okay, now degree, gra uh, graduate degree. Um, master's. Area of study, I Islamabad, okay, um, 12, 12, 2017, okay, 19, upload 
would you like to add another graduation? No. Save and next. Okay, current position organization. Mm, let's pause professor. Position or title. Sorry, organization is uh, Reader's College. And position is professor. Start date um, 12. 10 2021 and date if non current okay now employment type part time organization type uh, non profit civil uh, society business or corporation let's suppose academic approximately how many staff members does your organization let's suppose 6 to 20 okay um Please describe your responsibilities. Okay. Employer, uh, previous employer, add additional employer, save and next. Okay. Professional uh, background. Skill number one, let's post journalism media. Skill number two is event planning. Skill number three is policy and okay. Journalism. I think uh, these are not essential skill number one uh, skill number one is essential but skill two and three is not essential years of experience to describe your technical expertise in okay now um, please list the names of relevant computer skills okay now uh, hyperlink or attachment to work okay, attachment please compile into one file to upload upload file okay so let's pause this file save and next Okay, the next pro, uh, step is social issues areas. Okay, social issues, post social issue is, uh, let's post child rights. Please do not choose the same, same social issue more than months. Okay, please describe expertise in this area. Okay, now uh, save and next. Why is the Atlas Corps Fellowship the right leadership program for you? Okay, now uh, save it next. What is something, uh, but these are some optional questions. You can skip and click on save and next button. Provide recommenders. Post title is, let's post professor. And post name is Saba. Let's post Noor. And email address is Okay. Send invitation. Okay. Now second one is Professor. and the last name is Ahmad okay now uh, the next one is email address Now send invitation. Now save and next. Okay, update info. So these are some uh, required things that we have uh, left. So part three is benefits and responsibilities. I understand that I, okay. 
update info ok save and next ok part 7 is update info is uh, date award degree awarded please use the correct format ok save and next now uh, part 8 employment history ok previous employment history remove now save and next so so this is your uh, application review ok so now you have to click on submit button by clicking on submit button your application will be submitted so this is the applying procedure if you like this video please subscribe our bright scholarship channel and click the bell icon to get latest updates of our channel